Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I want to do an update for the lower deck garden boxes and show you the kale. So, here's the garden boxes. We've had a little more mild weather lately, and so you can see the spinach on this box is really taken off. Because this, this is that one I remember telling you guys. This side of the box loses its sun right about noon. So the harshest part of the day doesn't ever hit this. So I think it's going to do all right. I did have to put some sluggo in here because uh, we had some slugs getting over there on that kale. But the uh, chard's doing well. Uh, this is that white Russian kale. It's really doing well. We've harvested off a little bit of this this week. We've had that in one of our meals. And then even the uh, spinach over here seems to be doing pretty good. These are the pretty little guys I was worried about. Might not make it. But they've been doing pretty well. I mean, this one's doing good. And then we got some bunching onions that Paul has been taking the cuttings from. So if you buy bunching onions and you... Uh, Cut off the tip and you take that little white tip and you shove it into some soil or a glass on your counter. You can actually regrow your bunching onions because see this is where the cut line was on these and the new onion has grown up out of the top of this. So then you can come through here, cut them off again, they'll regrow and cut them off again and they'll keep regrowing. I don't know how many cycles you can get out of that but you know if you let it regrow, regrow long enough I think you can get probably at least five, six before it'll eventually give up the ghost and die. But uh, that's a good way to uh, propagate your own onions with very little effort, even from a windowsill. Here's some more kale. And here's some uh, beta salad mix. Looks pretty healthy. Let's pull those off. And we got the uh, arugula here. Something on the edge of the deck just kind of like smacked over. So, <laughs> I don't know what that was. There's something. I heard something bang over there. <laughs> like there's a squirrel. Anyway, those are the boxes. You get a little extra added content there. And then here's the, uh, the red Russian kale. It used to be indoors. You can see how nice that looks. I mean, it's really doing well out here. And look at these big, healthy leaves. So it's almost ready for another harvest. So we'll uh, get some of that this week and make one of Paula's either sautés or I, I think I'd actually rather have this in a salad because it's being outdoors out here it seems to have really softened up I mean it feels nice so I'll give that a watering and uh, that'll be ready for this week's uh, meals alright well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading I'll talk to you guys again bye